page 86. Theory of minor scales or the key of A minor is the one we're going to start with. That's because A minor has no sharps or flats in the key signature. You know, it's relative to C major. I've been encouraging you to be doing the minor scales when I tell you to do a major scale. Do the minor scale with the same key signature. Now we're officially getting into minor scales. And I have videos on them. I suggest you watch them. An introductory video to scales. And I try and explain minor scales and all that. But I'll give a lesson on it here. It's in the book. Let's talk minor scales. In music, we have various modes. One for each key, actually. Seven of them, probably more than that. Don't care. I'm not an expert on modes. I don't get into them. But the two modes we use the most are major and minor. They're not called major and minor. They're called Ionian and Aeolian. I can't speak. Ionian and Aeolian. Yeah. That's why I say major and minor. It's easier. We've had major all along. And remember, a scale is a set pattern of whole steps and half steps. And with a major scale, it's easy to see C major because it's it's all the white keys. It's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole step and half step. That's the pattern for any major scale. A minor scale simply has a different pattern. And if you use A minor as your guide, again, it's easy to see A to A. It's easy to see the whole steps and half steps. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Ho, half, ho, ho, half, ho, ho. Hey, yeah. That's the pattern for any minor scale. Start on any key, white, or black, use that pattern, and you're guaranteed to get a minor scale. Might not know what it is, but it'll be a minor scale. And that's really what it is. Now, we say minor scales are relative to major. They're related. And that is they have the same key signature. They're related by key signature. So C major, the relative minor to C major, that is the minor with the same key signature, is A minor here. We've had F major, one flat. Well, the relative minor to F major is D minor. That means D minor is one flat. G major has one sharp. Well, the relative minor to G major is E minor. It has one sharp. Now, an easy way to figure this out, or the way I do it, because I, I know the major scales. So I, I know what they are. I know what the key signatures are all. Okay, I don't bother with the minors. Because I can calculate the minor real quick. It got me through several me uh, semesters of college in music theory, and I, this worked wonders. All I do is I go down three half steps from the major. So uh, C major, go down three half steps from C. One, two, three. Or start on C and go one, two, three here. That's the relative minor, whatever it is. So C major, A minor. F major, one, two, three is D minor. D minor. I could calculate them real quick so I know what the key signatures are to the minors because I can figure it out from the major very quickly. Most books will tell you to go up six. The C major, go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's an interval of a sixth, but the note you're on is one. But to me, it's easier to go down three. One, two, three. I go down a third because it's three shorter than six. So I go down three same difference. So that's the relative. Now there is a, a, another type of minor is that is the parallel minor. And that would be the minor that starts on the same note, like C major and C minor. Well, we haven't had it yet. C minor happens to have three flats in them. Where did that come from? So uh, don't worry about it. That's why we're using relative, because we're staying within the key signature. It makes it so much easier. When we get to the lessons on three flats, then we'll talk about C minor then. Now, just to make things even more interesting, in case you're not confused enough, there are three different kinds of minor scales. Gotta love it. It's called a natural minor. The natural minor is the minor scale according to the key signature. You don't change anything. So an A minor, a, nat a minor, natural minor, is all the white keys. 
the scale that's used the most in music and the scale that I cover in my videos is called the harmonic minor. And there you simply take the seventh step up a half step. So in, in A minor, A minor, the seventh step is one down from eight, so G. I'll just go down one. And instead of a G, I'm going to do a G sharp. I just take it up one. That sounds cool. Harmonic minor, you get that a lot in music. That's why when you're in a, in a piece with A minor, you'll probably see a lot of G sharps in it, in the music, written in G sharp. Now on top of that, there is a minor called the melodic minor. I've never had any reason to study melodic minor or learn them. I don't, I, in college, I never practiced melodic minor. Some people, oh, you have to do the melodic minor. Blech. I do the harmonic minor and that gets me through everything I need to do because I can make the other adjustments when I need to. But with a melodic minor, it depends on whether you're going up or down as to what you play. If I'm going up, I'm going to raise the sixth and seventh step. So an A minor, the seventh was here, but the sixth is here. So I'm going to do an F sharp and a G sharp. That's melodic minor going up. But when I go down, I'm going to do the natural minor. So it makes a difference. That's melodic minor. You'll see it in music. Composers use it. It's used a lot in the Middle Ages and so forth. It's used a lot here too. And jazz and so forth what, might use these melodic minors and things. Yeah, absolutely. Jazz actually uses jazz scales. But the point is, you'll see it in today's music too. So I would encourage you to understand what the minors are. But as far as practicing them goes, I do the harmonic minor. Raise the seventh step. They show it at the bottom of page 87. I don't like using music when studying scales. I want to focus on the hands, the fingers, and the keys, and the feel of the scale. When you get it in music, you're liable to get it where you start on any note and end on any note. It doesn't have to start and end on A, but you're playing the notes within that scale. And it'll feel that way to a point because in music, the fingering might be different. You might alter the fingering slightly for the music than what you would do in the scale. But if you can learn to play the scales properly, you'll find that if that covers, if when you have to make changes in the music, it just happens. Because you can already, you already know what that feels like to do what they want you to do. So don't get locked in where this finger has to be on this note. It doesn't. When practicing the scales, you have a certain fingering. But in music, anything goes. Let me know if you have any questions, but that's my spiel on minor scales. Yeah.